Hello. Can you believe the sitcom Saved by the Bell was released 35 years ago? It's a significant part of many people's childhoods. Do you think it would be fun if you and your family sat on the couch and watched this movie again with the entire cast of Then and Now? Find the answers in our video. First up, Elizabeth Berkeley, once a teen model for Elite before delving into acting. Apart from her acting roles, from a young age, she danced and trained in a room her parents set up in the basement. When she began to take an interest in pursuing professional dancing, she headed to New York City to train with dancers and choreographers. She performed in several ballets, including Swan Lake, and in 1983, she appeared in some musicals. She also lent her voice to some famous animated films. At 17, she was cast as a high school student named Jessie Spano, a character known for her strength and positivity. Furthermore, following the success of Saved by the Bell, she showcased her versatility and flair for acting in the film Showgirls in 1995. Additionally, Berkeley is the author of a memoir published in 2010 and was involved in a $45 million lawsuit between screenwriter Roger Wilson and actor Leonardo DiCaprio. At present, at 51, she enjoys a happy life with her family and continues to pursue her acting career. Next up, let's welcome Max, the owner of the coffee shop The Meeting and Hangout Spot for the young group of friends in the TV show Saved by the Bell. With his radiant smile and cheerful personality, Max, portrayed by Ed Alonzo, became a beloved character by the audience. He's known as an American actor and professional magician. Ed Alonzo was a magician in Michael Jackson's rehearsal for This Is It in 2009, before the King of Pop passed away. The This Is It rehearsal was recorded and released as a documentary film of the same name in 2010. Ed Alonzo took on the role of Max when he was just 21 years old. Alonzo has appeared in some popular TV shows like Full House and Shucha. Now at 55, he's still active in the magic industry, regularly performing at comedy clubs and various events. Additionally, he's a voice actor and has contributed to several animated projects. Next is the appearance of Mario Lopez. He was born on October 10th, 1973. When he was only 16 years old, he was the one who excelled in winning this role as A.C. This Slater, a friendly gymnast under the excellent performance of Mario Lopez. In 2020, Lopez reprised his role as A.C. Slater in Peacock's sequel series, Saved by the Bell. In addition to acting, he is known as an MC with a complicated romantic history, having been accused of dart rape. Dated, but there was not enough evidence in 1993. Currently, he is 50 years old, lives happily with his second wife, and continues to pursue his acting career in TVMC. Leah Remini was born on June 15, 1970. At just 19 years old, she took on the role of Stacey Carosi, managing a few resorts. From there, Remini continued her successful acting career and became a prominent scholar on Scientology. Besides Saved by the Bell, she has appeared in many other famous films and artistic endeavours. However, her personal life has also been quite scandalous. One of the most recent famous cases was in 2013, when Remini sued the Church of Scientology and David Miscavige for allegations of harassment and psychological torture lasting 10 years until 2023. She is now 53 years old and has a stable life with her family. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for daily updates on new videos. Next up is the guy born in 1974 who took on the role of Zach Morris. Mark Paul Gosselaar from Prince Zach Morris to a passionate racer. Stepping into his 50s, Mark Paul Gosselaar still maintains a radiant charm and a fulfilling life with his family in Los Angeles. 
mention Gosselaar, and nobody forgets the image of Prince Zach Morris in the iconic series Saved by the Bell, 1989-1993. Joining the cast at just 15, Gosselaar quickly made his mark as Zach Morris, the famous, intelligent, yet mischievous young man. Thanks to this role, he received prestigious awards for Outstanding Young Performer in a TV series. The resounding success of Saved by the Bell propelled Gosselaar to become a teenage idol for a whole generation. Afterwards, he continued to participate in various film projects, affirming his diverse acting abilities and reaping many successes. Besides his acting career, Gosselaar is also a passionate racer. He owns several sports cars and regularly participates in racing events. In 2005, he competed in the Western Championship cycling race, demonstrating courageous sportsmanship and determination. Currently, Gosselaar is enjoying a happy life with his second wife, Katriona McGinn, and their two young children. He continues to act and inspire many young actors. Mark Paul Gosselaar's journey is a testament to talent, effort, and passion. From Prince Zach Morris on the screen to a fervent racer, Gosselaar always brings impressive and inspiring images to the audience. When discussing the most successful child stars in Hollywood, Tiffany Thiessen is a name that can't be overlooked. Renowned for her role as Kelly Kapowski in the iconic series Saved by the Bell, 1989-1993, Thiessen left an indelible mark on audiences with her radiant beauty and outstanding acting skills. Even from a young age, Thiessen displayed a passion for the arts. She participated in beauty pageants and won the title of Miss Junior America in 1987 at just 15 years old. In 1989, Thiessen joined the cast of Saved by the Bell and quickly became a teenage idol. Her portrayal of Kelly Kapowski, the queen of Bayside High School, elevated Thiessen's fame to new heights. Following Saved by the Bell, Thiessen continued to reap success with various film projects. She is highly praised for her versatile acting abilities and flexible transformations in roles. In addition to her acting career, Thiessen is also involved in social and community activities. In April 2013, she participated in the One Bag Dinner Party as part of GLAD's Earth Month campaign. At the age of 50, Thiessen still maintains her radiant beauty and a fulfilling life with her family. She is currently continuing the series Deliciousness, which began in 2020, bringing entertaining moments to audiences. This gal is also one of the main actors of the series. Joining the cast at just 15 years old, Lark Voorhees quickly captivated audiences with her beautiful appearance, unique fashion sense, and natural acting ability. Her role as Lisa Turtle, the fashion queen of Bayside High School, has become an icon for many generations of viewers. In addition to her acting career, Voorhees also ventured into the music industry as the lead singer of the band Third Degree. Furthermore, she authored three books published from 2010 to 2011, showcasing her creativity and diverse talent. In her personal life, Voorhees has experienced complex romantic relationships. She dated Mark Paul Gosselaar and was married and divorced twice to Miguel Coleman and Jimmy Green, respectively. In 2014, Voorhees was diagnosed with dissociative identity disorder. This was a significant challenge for her but Voorhees did not give up. She bravely confronted the illness and shared her story with the public to raise awareness about mental health. Currently, at the age of 50, Voorhees continues to pursue her artistic passion. She remains single and focuses on new artistic projects. If you've made it this far, we've covered two thirds of the journey. If you've ever followed and know about those actors, please leave a one in the comments section before watching the rest of this video. There's a harsh reality I'd rather not confront, and that's the passing of Dustin Diamond in 2021. He joined the cast as Samuel Screech's Powers when he was just 12 years old. 
Besides acting, he was a singer and formed Salty the Pocket Knife, but the band disbanded shortly due to internal disagreements. In 2001, Diamond filed for bankruptcy in California. In 2014, he wielded a knife and stabbed a man in a bar brawl. On December 26, 2014, Diamond was arrested in Ozaukee County, Wisconsin for possessing a switchblade he allegedly brandished in a bar brawl where a man was stabbed. His fiancée, Amanda Schutz, was convicted of disorderly conduct and fined $500. On May 29, 2015, he was convicted of two misdemeanors, carrying a concealed weapon and disorderly conduct. The most serious charge, recklessly endangering public safety, was dropped. On June 25, he was sentenced to four months in jail. He served three months and was released on probation. His probation officer later determined he violated its terms and he was re-arrested in May 2016. In early January 2021, Diamond was diagnosed with stage four small cell carcinoma in his lungs. Despite completing a round of chemotherapy in Cape Corral, Florida, he passed away from the disease on February 1st, 2021 at the age of 44. Absolutely, it's quite fascinating to see how many actors from this show started their careers at such a young age. Feel free to leave your favourite actor's name in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel. When you mention Saved by the Bell, it's impossible not to think of Dennis Haskins, who successfully portrayed the role of Principal Richard Belding, an iconic character in this beloved series. Joining the cast of Saved by the Bell at the age of 39, Haskins quickly made his mark with the image of a stern yet compassionate principal. His portrayal contributed to the success of the series and became a cherished memory for many generations of viewers. Currently, at the age of 71, Haskins is still enjoying a happy life after going through a divorce. He has a child and continues to pursue his artistic passion. Haskins' acting career spans over four decades with diverse roles in film and theater. He has also lent his voice to several animated films. Besides acting, Haskins is a multi-talented artist. He has released and appeared in numerous music albums, showcasing his impressive musical abilities. Dennis Haskins' journey is a testament to talent, dedication and relentless artistic passion. From the strict principal belding on screen to a versatile artist in real life, Haskins continues to be an inspiration for many generations of viewers. Lastly, we have Leanna Creel in the role of Tori Scott. She appeared in the final part of season three and season four, portraying Tori Scott, a spirited and dynamic new student. Joining the cast of Saved by the Bell at the age of 19, Creel quickly captured attention with her natural acting and striking appearance. After Saved by the Bell, Creel continued to pursue her artistic passion with a diverse career. Not only is she a talented actress, but Creel is also a successful film producer. In 1994, Creel produced her first film, which garnered significant success. Additionally, she is a director, screenwriter, and photographer. She has been involved in various film and artistic projects, showcasing her creativity and diverse talents. In her personal life, Creel has openly identified as gay and got married in 2008 when California legalized same-sex marriage. She has two sons and is enjoying a happy life with her family. Leanna Creel's journey is a testament to talent, perseverance and continuous creativity. From portraying the new student Tori Scott on screen to becoming a multi-talented artist in real life, Creel is not only an inspiration for many generations of viewers, but also for the LGBTQ community daring to live authentically with their own emotions. their own emotions. Thank you for watching the entire video. Which character impressed you the most? What are your thoughts on the departure of some actors? 
leave your comments below and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new videos every day. Videos 